Hey, what's going on? JD here. I've got another quick motion tutorial for you. Today, we're going to take some footage of some ink dropping into some water, and then we're going to mix that and make our title appear so it looks like it's just ink forming our title. All right, we're gonna start things off. We're actually gonna create a final cut title this time around. So we're gonna open that up. We're going to type in our text here. We'll just select the text, type it in. Of course, motion tutorials. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the inspector and we're just going to center that and we're going to basically increase the size and that should be good. We'll just take the select tool. We will center that. So pretty straightforward so far. So what we're going to do now is we're going to import the footage that we're going to use. So we're going to import this ink image. And basically, this is just a video of ink dropping in a water tank with a very bright white background. So we're just going to scrub this a little bit just so we can get, you know, sort of the whole ink thing to progress across. We don't want to wait too long for it to hit it. So now we're going to key. And as you can see, when we key, that it basically makes it really, really gray. So we're going to knock down the strength, essentially, of the thing. And then we're going to take the sample color. And as you can see, it grays out, so we're going to take multiple samples, and then that basically eliminates all of our background. So the beautiful thing about Kier and Motion is it is quite powerful. Uh, you notice that uh, it's following the video, it's keying it out completely, it knows what we want to take out. So we're just going to pivot that, that ink blob, because we're going to want it to come from left to right. So we're just going to set that up, just so it kind of kind of just before the motion we're just going to move it forward and it should be good there and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that number one it travels across i'm going to have to make this i think a bit larger so i'm just going to expand that out i'm not going to rotate it but expand it to a decent size. And what that should do, we're, we're gonna move this here, is that essentially, and there we go, it's gonna, the frame is gonna cover the entire motion tutorials, and that's what we want. So we want the ink to come in, and I'm just gonna adjust that a bit here, just so it hits it a lot faster, and then basically comes right through the frame. So the goal here is to get that video footage inside the motion tutorial and also make sure that the motion only shows up. So what we're going to do is we're going to add an image mask. We're going to click on that box and we're going to drag the type in there. And basically, there you have it. It doesn't look like anything, but as you see, as we progress the video, now the motion, which has been put into an image mask will basically fill in with the ink right through. So it's really good. This this will work great with fire. It will work great with smoke. And we'll just we'll just make it in black here. And as you can see, the ink just sort of flows through. So it's a really, really cool feature. It's really simple to do and it gets great results. So you can create some awesome titles using this trick. That's it for another motion tutorial. We use some powerful tools here in order to key out the background with the liquid ink, as well as basically using the masking tool to mask out our letters so we could get the effect that we wanted to. You could do something cool with fire or maybe smoke. If you do something, throw a comment down below. I'd love to check it out. And as always, the files are free to download down below. 
Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be back with another tutorial soon. See ya.